What is up guys, Waffles here and welcome to a quick After Effects tutorial that many of you have uh, asked me to make. So let's get started. The tutorial will be on these little uh, things, these, these particles here that just kind of float around in random directions and uh, maybe, maybe also I will do um, a tutorial on, I will show you how to get these kind of bigger particles here which is uh, just this simple. So it's a very easy tutorial, it'll probably be very quick, but uh, it's useful. So um, there we go. Uh, let's get started. Let's close this because we do not need that. And let's get into uh, uh, internet. Well, yes, let's use the internet. And uh, let us uh, go to the first link into in uh, Go to the first link in the description and uh, download this particles uh, zip folder thing. And uh, yeah, it's safe, I promise. Uh, if not, you know, if it isn't safe, dislike the video, but uh, pretty sure it's safe. So once you have the particles.zip, you're going to want to extract it with WinRAR. So the link to that is in the description. It is basically just a, uh, a zip uh, extractor or opener or whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, get that in the description and then you'll be able to uh, extract here on the zip. And then you'll get this folder up here, just appeared magically. And uh, you're going to open it up and have a look inside. So we have particles, uh, we have this one. This is pretty basic, it's, it looks nice though, it's all, uh, it's all random and stuff. Uh, the particles too is pretty much exactly the same, but maybe a little bit more uh, more chill. Let's go with that. And uh, glass smash is is pretty beautiful too, but it's just lower resolution. So I have all the copyright stuff here, um, in case you want to know where I got all this stuff. So now you're going to open up your intro if you have made one uh, using maybe my tutorial or maybe someone else's tutorial. But the important thing is you have an intro and you would like to add some particles to it. So let us add some particles. Uh, this is an intro I made a while back, but I'm going to use it as an example. So uh, the particles we want kind of everywhere. We don't really care if they are um, at this point here, but let's just put them everywhere. So uh, go back to your particles uh, folder and drag in all these things. There we go. Now you have all these things, uh, I'm going to use particles 1 because I prefer it. Uh, but uh, yeah, so once you have that, just drag that in on top of uh, everything. And uh, you will get this, it'll be kind of ugly and you'll just have that video. So uh, what you're going to do is down here, you're going to, oh, never mind. Down here you're going to click on toggle switches slash modes. So once you have clicked that, uh, it will activate some uh, modes here. And next to particles well, one, you're going to change the blend mode to uh, either screen. That works. Yeah, that works. Right, okay, so the screen works. Uh, or you can change it to um, uh, add. Also works. Or you can just mess around, honestly, with all these. Try them all. Um, but most of them probably won't work, but uh, just find one that you like and uh, change it to whatever that is. Uh, so now that you have your particles, you might notice that it is a bit, uh, I'm just going to put it back to screen, that it is a bit uh, much. So what you might want to do is hit, is select your particles, your particle layer here, hit T and drop the opacity down a little bit to maybe like uh, 60%. There we go, now it looks nice. Look at that. So uh, now what you're going to want to do is go to the point in time where your text comes smashing in or whatever. And you're going to drag in the uh, glass, the glass smash, and put that on top of the particles. Even though it doesn't really matter all that much. So here we have the glass smash. You're going to want to scale this up by just holding shift and uh, dragging this. There we go, that looks pretty good. Uh, and now you're going to... Um, you're going to change the blend mode of this as well. So change it to maybe screen again, maybe whatever you want. That's why it's fun. And then you're going to time it. 
so that the glass smashes exactly when the text comes in and it'll look amazing there we go so that should be good let's pre-render this to have a look by hitting uh, the zero key on our numpad so let's have a look go Okay, so maybe I want to change my mind. Maybe I think that uh, this with uh, this, the glass smash should have an ad overlay. Uh, or blend mode, sorry. And uh, it might look a bit better. But yeah, you can basically just mess around with it. If you don't even want the smash, then that's, that's, uh, that's your choice. Uh, honestly, but I think it looks pretty good. And, uh, and yeah, so that's basically how to add particles to your intro. It looks beautiful and uh, you, you might want to, yeah. It looks, it looks amazing. So uh, that's basically the whole tutorial. And uh, I will see you guys on uh, maybe Sunday, maybe Wednesday for a Rome vlog or something. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Goodbye.